seeing oversized grown men strategically wrapped in 20-foot-long loincloths compete in an ancient religious ritual isn't the most Japanese experience you can possibly have while visiting here, then what the heck else is? Yeah, come on. We finagled seats to the national sport of Japan during our visit to watch some of the top athletes in the world compete. And if you're traveling to this island nation in the Pacific, over the next few minutes, we'll convince you why this is the one thing you should do too during your visit. Hands down the coolest thing we did in Japan. Cooler even than seeing John Legend and Chrissy Teigen at a weird robot show in Tokyo and quite possibly creeping them out. Seriously, that's them right there. It's all straight ahead. Don't leave. When you make it to Japan, the list of things to see and do here is long. Downtown Tokyo and all the crazy neon signs and the chaos and the crowds. Itsukashima Shrine on Miyajima, the cool orange floating Tori Gate that's partially submerged depending on the tide. You've seen it on Instagram, I'm sure. The Arashiyama Bamboo Grove in Kyoto, with its giant stalks of bamboo filtering the afternoon sun, it is quite possibly the coolest place to take a picture of yourself in the entire country. Also, the famous Fushimianari Shrine nearby in Kyoto, with its thousands of Tori gates and shrines dedicated to the Shinto god of rice. the pagodas and the cherry blossoms and the bullet train rides past a snow-capped Mount Fuji. There is so much to see and do here, and the food. Don't even get us started on the food. Well, what, we're, what we've got here is octopus eggs inside quail eggs. A true delicacy here in Kyoto. What did that cost you? Uh, 300 yen or three bucks. Well, let's do it. Verdict? The quail egg is great. Now moving on to the octopus, I believe. <laughs> From the staples to the strange, pretty much everything you eat here is amazing. Yeah, but they're pretty good. With so many fantastic once-in-a-lifetime things to see and do, we thought we had found the weirdest, wildest, and most memorable of them all when we arrived at the Robot Restaurant in the Shinjuku neighborhood in Tokyo. It has been proclaimed the most insane show in Japan and the most difficult to describe, too. It combines robots and dragons and ninjas and dancers and drummers, blinding bright lights and deafening loud music. And boy, did we go at the right time. The performing art show, a staple for tourists, made internet famous a decade ago when Anthony Bourdain paid a visit, is now closed forever. It shut down right after the pandemic began and apparently it won't reopen. We were lucky and so were the two famous attendees who stumbled into the tiny theater moments before the show began. Yep, that's world famous musician John Legend and his equally famous better half Chrissy Teigen, seated so close we could pass them popcorn, which by the way we tried to do before a couple of overly concerned bodyguards intervened. We also offered to buy the power couple a beer. They declined. But they were lovely, and Chrissy even included a quick shot of our friend Joe on her Insta story that night. As cool as that experience was, as cool as every experience was in this picturesque and pristine place, none of them compared to the 330 pound behemoths who took to the ring in Osaka. The sport of sumo began a thousand years ago, designed to entertain the gods. <laughs> Not sure if they were amused, but we were bowled over by the champion athletes who took a brief break from consuming 20,000 calories of food a day, the same as a bear preparing to hibernate, 
to wow the crowds at this sumo tournament. Oh, wow. Wow. A thunderous collision of brawn unfolding right before our very eyes in a stadium crowded with fans. In this country, these men are considered some of the very best athletes and are compensated accordingly. Well paid, well fed, well received. <laughs> We lucked out with the timing of our trip. It coincided with the annual Osaka tournament in March, held from the second Sunday to the last Sunday. Weekday tickets like ours can be easy to come by, but later in the tournament and weekend competition sell out fast. The arena is a short walk from the Osaka train station, and tickets can be purchased for as low as 20 bucks per person. Oh, oh, oh boy, here we go. If you miss the March tourney in Osaka, they do have others throughout the year in other parts of Japan. A feast for the eyes and the most unforgettable experience we had during our entire time in Japan. Now maybe you're into the frou-frou, high culture stuff that Japan has to offer. The beauty, the sushi, the ancient buildings, and the even older traditions that make this country so mystical, so memorable. He doesn't stand a chance. Bye. Bye, Felicia. But us? We couldn't wait to see a couple of barely covered big dudes battle it out. Beats those other fancy traditions any day of the week.